Hello everyone, I'm Sean and welcome back to the channel. This is video two of my great guitar build off for 2022. If you haven't seen the first one, make sure you head back and check that out because you know it makes sense sequentially to watch them in order. And make sure if you are new here, you're subscribed. Keep up to date with everything else, if you enjoy the content, of course. And if you're not new here, but for some reason you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. All right, so the last video, we didn't do a huge amount of work in it. So this is where the work really, really begins. So make sure you grab yourself a nice hot cup of tea, coffee, whatever you want. Get comfortable and enjoy. So in the last video, we drew out a big full-scale plan and we went through what the idea is for this base. We then prepped up a bunch of wood and that was it. There's not that much in it. So this is the video where we're really going to get stuck in, really start doing some work. And like I said in the last video, we're going to start with the neck. I have this beautiful billet of bird's eye maple. Oh, I hope you can see that. Check that out. It's going to be really, really nice. So because it's bird's eye, we will, of course, have to use some carbon fiber stiffening rods in this just to make 100% sure. It should be perfectly fine, but we're going to make sure it's good and stable. So my first thing is I need to draw the rough shape onto this billet, head out, cut that out, and then I'm going to use some templates to route the sides of the neck first and then manually sand in the shape of the headstock, all of that stuff. And um, yeah, let's get started. Let's make some noise and some sawdust.
Now at this stage with the neck shape kind of pretty much finalized, I always find it very beneficial to drill the tuner holes now. This is obviously going to get a scoop later on, so what we can do is lay it out very, very carefully on the back face and we don't have to drill all the way through. Just get most of the way through and then when you take that slice off the front, you reveal all your tuner holes. No tear out, no risk. So, first I'm going to plane this edge, get it nice and straight. I'm just measuring from the center of the post. I'm trying to see roughly how far out I can go. I'm gonna say about 24-ish millimeters is good. So I'm gonna make a mark at that 24 mil. And basically that line, to imagine it's backwards of course. So it's about there. That's a little bit too far in. I'm going to go to there. That's 20 mil. Nice clean number. Draw that line and that is essentially the line along which these tuners are going to be mounted. Now, to get the first tuner, which is the most important, it's going to go about there. right at the end. And then we have about 150 to go. These need 30 a pop. So I will just evenly space these guys out. which I will drill, the ones with the arrows. So I'll head out, drill those holes, and then I'm going to use truss rod cavity template, stick that down, route that out, and then for the carbon fiber rods I have another very very similar template which I shall bump either side of the truss rod, route that with a slightly smaller bit, and there we go, we can get started on the fretboard.
truss rod installed, carbon rods installed. Yeah, next thing is to slot the fingerboard and glue it on. Uh, you will notice, I'm sure, I only taped a portion of the truss rod. Basically, this bit doesn't need tape. Pure and simple, if I don't have to cut it, I'm not gonna bother cutting it. Plus, it's wasteful. But up in this area, there is the actual mechanism for the truss rod, and I don't want glue in there. So, yeah, that guy gets put to the side, and we work on the fretboard. I have this guy, and I have a template here but if you remember, this fretboard is bookmatched. And I kind of bookmatched it really well, so you can't really tell that it's bookmatched at the moment. I'm hoping with oil it's going to come up nice, but you can kind of see the pattern is kind of chevroned, I guess, into the middle. So I'm going to stick this down to the template. I'm going to use the circular saw or the radial arm saw setup that we have with the fret slotting saw blade and slot this fingerboard. Yeah, then it's glue it on and happy days. Away we go. That is the neck all glued up. For my next trick, I want to glue the... Let's pull them over. I want to stick the top to the walnut body. So for that, I'm going to rough cut both components and I'm going to leave just a little bit of a tab on the end. And that's just going to help me for gluing up, basically. I'm going to cut them out and then just stick them together. I'm not hollowing this out or anything like that. I think it's going to be, it's going to be a good weight already. This is not that heavy because as you can see, it's not that thick. So out we go, hearing protection in, happy days.
and that is where we're going to leave it for this video, video number two. So, just to recap, our fretboard is glued on and our top is glued on. That sounds like not a lot of things, but it was a bunch of work, so trust me. So, video three, we're going to keep going, working on the next, so you've got that to look forward to. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to click like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. And maybe I will have sorted out merch of some description, maybe t-shirts. So check down below in the description for a link or an excuse. You'll get one of them. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. I will see you all again real soon.